Hey y'all, welcome to our final pulmonary NCLEX question of the day this week. Uh, our question today says, the nurse has taught the parent of a six-year-old client with asthma who has a new prescription for an albuterol metered dose inhaler or MDI. Which of the following statements by the parent would indicate a correct understanding of the teaching? Select all that apply. So we are gonna have multiple correct options here and then we are looking for a statement um, that is correct. So option one, says I should wait 30 seconds before administering a second puff of medication to my child. Uh, this is gonna be an incorrect option. So we wanna wait at least a minute um, in between doses of the same medication and then two to three minutes in between doses of different medications. Um, and if we're administering different medications like um, a beta antagonist versus, and then like a steroid, we want to give the bronchodilator first to help open up the lungs so that then the steroid can get in and work where it needs to. So um, yeah, so that's good to keep in mind. Uh, option two says, my child should hold the breath for five to 10 seconds after each puff of medication. Um, this is a correct statement. We definitely wanna hold the breath, allow that medication to get where it needs to go. If we exhale, we're just, you know, breathing all that medication away. So we definitely do wanna hold our breath there. Uh, option three says, my child should inhale quickly after each puff to fully take in the medication. Uh, this is an incorrect option. We wanna breathe in the medication slowly to make sure we get all of it. Um, let's see, option four says, a spacer will help my child effectively receive the medication. Uh, this is a correct option. Spacers are really great for pediatric clients or clients that have um, issues with coordination. So with a meter dose inhaler, you have to like coordinate your, your squeeze on the inhaler with your inhalation. Um, and that can be difficult for kids to do. So we can put a spacer on and basically that traps the medication in a confined space, gives us more time to breathe the medication in and increases the amount of medication that gets to our lungs um, and reduces the amount of medication that ends up in our oropharyngeal cavity. So spacers are a really great option. Um, really all, all pediatric clients should use them. Um, and then option five says, I should shake the MDI before attaching it to a spacer. Uh, and this is a correct option. So we want to take the cap off, hold it upright, and you know shake it just to make sure we're mixing up any, any liquid medication in there um, before we attach it to the spacer and administer. So hopefully you guys have a good weekend and we'll see you next week.